you know, as you like look inside of his mouth, like the hunger grips you. Oh. And you just don't have the time or the patience to have any, oh. any type of, of, and you put your whole hand into his mouth and rip out his tonsils <laughs> and start feasting on him right then and there. I could get the registration. I, I don't think I, I don't think I want to do APB. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like something you told. Uh, I think like Doc no. asked Nell as if uh, yeah, a vampire okay. one or a kindred. Yeah, yeah. Before you hear back on that, um, you hear from you know you hear from Ulrica. Uh, she lets you all know that uh, she's got an address for uh, this uh, ringleader, as it were. I've got an address for the ringleader, as it were. <laughs> excellent news uh let's go and uh let's go and kill her i'm in a real killy mood hello and welcome to a brand new episode of card of cups we totally nailed it in the first try and this is completely not the third intro we filmed today (laughs) how are you all doing fantastic i hope spider's gone (laughs) spider's gone that's amazing. Um, I am your storyteller, Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bular. But more importantly, uh, it's time for me to introduce, to introduce you to our wonderful coterie, as well as who plays uh, our wonderful coterie. Holly, take it away. Hello, um, I'm Holly. I play Elizabeth Wonder, who is a Toreador vampire wine mom who hates Starbucks. Except for that one drink, the pumpkin, the pumpkin one with the foam on top for that's the iced one. That one's really good. That one is really good. (laughs) Yeah, that one's really good. And I will take, I'll take that. I I will say that is the, that is the only good one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on. (laughs) Tabby. Uh, My name is Tabby, uh, Tabitha, either one. Uh, I play Orca Drager, uh, a Bruja, and she is a hacker and she's very charismatic and she's very good at being goth. Mm Hmm. A good skill to have, Lydia. I'm Lydia. I play Dr. Charlotte Lamb, who is a psychiatrist by trade, a McCavian by clan, and cannibal by accident. So fantastic. You know, it takes all of my effort to not be like Liddy Jaw. Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I can spell your name in so many places. <laughs> Fair. In my head, I want you to know when I say Lydia, I always think Liddy Jaw. <laughs> Well, that's, that's why my funny. Twitter handle is Ladesia, just because like <laughs> that was always just what people called me. Well, like the jaw is so accentuated, I feel the need to make it like jaw. <laughs> Anyways, Patrick. <laughs> so my my intro joke comes from Talpus from the Club PA Discord, which you can join and submit jokes for me to say at the beginning of the episode. My name is Patrick. I play dog. I play. I'm a member of Clan Gangrel called Dog Food, who one out of ten rats recommend. That was better the second time. <laughs> I say, I want to go through the process of you explaining the joke again. <laughs> yeah. It's, this it's, is the se- second time we did this intro, and I appreciate everyone everyone pretending that it well, was. Well, for good some the second reason, time. I on the first pass, I thought that one out of ten vets recommends that you feed your dog. Which I, I mean, that's important. Dog, vets. Vets. No, they, they, yeah, no, a lot of vets recommend that. Idiot. Yeah. yeah, that's important. Honestly, <laughs> food's important. I was like, "What kind of vet's gonna?" I mean, yeah, no duh. Say for the for the for the audience at home, we're filming this the day before PAX Online, and I certainly am barely clinging on. So I would yes. expect it's a also, very silly episode from as me. discussed previously. Uh, it's also the air quality out here is really bad right now, yeah. so you mm-hmm. cannot hold us accountable. I know my that's allergies. Very bad. It's 192. Drive. So I'm going to uh, apologize in advance uh, if I can't nail all the voices today because uh, I have a massive lump in my throat. <laughs> I've got three HEPA filters going and my voice is still struggling. Um, okay. So, <laughs> Elizabeth, mm-hmm. you open your eyes. Mm-hmm. What does your sleeping arrangement look like? Um. Oh, did we move any? I feel like we moved something upstairs. I don't remember what it was. Oh, well. Uh, I feel like, the, let's just say that, like, some of the coffee shop, like, cups have moved upstairs, and I, like, haven't moved them yet, and I'm really upset about it. Mm-hmm. So, I am in my, like, coffin in my, I have my little, like, parlor, 
with like little Victorian furniture and like teacups and things like that. And that weird artifact that we still have that's like a glowing floating pyramid or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it, there's like a doily over that. Um, <laughs> it's weird. Uh, and like, two, I, I'm guessing, I think maybe like Loretta has left like two boxes of cups upstairs. Mm-hmm. And that's the first thing I see. And I'm pissed and I get hungry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You get hungry. You're pissed. You see these two giant cardboard boxes full of spare cups. <laughs> like you recount in your yeah. head how many closets there are to use. There's so many. And yet here they are in front of you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm mad. Do you lift the boxes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I kick them down the stairs. Yeah. Damn. As you kick one of the boxes, you notice there was a spider hiding behind <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, I just, I mean, I'm going to ignore that, whatever. There's probably spiders all over this place. The spiders probably. are fine. They Don't have, panic they, when you see them, though. Yeah. No. I have, they have, Elizabeth likes them because they have a dark, a dark academia, like, doily aesthetic that she enjoys. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they can stay, but the cups cannot. The cups okay. cannot. No. Uh, the Orica, you see the cups flying down. <laughs> <laughs> Two cardboard boxes flung down with impunity. Uh, this is what you open your closet door to. The fuck is it going on? These go upstairs. <laughs> well, they don't go look, downstairs. Who put them up look, there? We're running out of storage space. We're gonna. We need to. We need to use everyone's rooms. Like my closet Fine. also has. We have cups a whole fucking it. dungeon. Put them in the. Put the cups. Put the cups in the dungeon. We can't put the cups in the dungeon because the staff don't know about the dungeon and they have to be. Able, well, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying this in front of them. Loretta, we have a dungeon. dungeon. (laughs) Loretta, there's a dungeon. It's 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 for sexy times. Put the cups in there. You see Loretta's head pop in like through the door frame, and she says, "Uh, "No can do, boss. The dungeon gets kind of moist. You got to keep those cups in pristine condition. Last box you put down there, they're all wrinkly now. We have to serve drinks out of these." I I I am glad that your level of quality has increased. Well, yeah, we can't have dingy cups. Oh. People call us Why do we have, we have three Surplus boxes of cups that are stained and water damaged? Uh, we should be cup specialists, if anything. About, we should have the best cups in town. What about the library? Is there room for cups in there? Like, open the door, go, no. <laughs> <laughs> are you still fixing your office after the tragedy that dog food inflicted upon it last episode? Yes. I am cleaning it erotically because. <laughs> everything needs to be back uh, in, its, in its home yeah um roll your willpower so one I'm two three four to five see what this is gonna indicate One, two successes. Okay. Uh, you don't get, you're able to control your rage. You don't become unreasonable in any way, but you are angry as you are like cleaning your office. You're not quite ready to be in the forgiving mood yet. Um, for a moment there, you feel like the beast kind of roil up inside you. And you even hear like a little voice at the back of your head that says, how dare this impudent little whelp disrespect me in my space? Doesn't she know who I am? I've worked hard. I should be respected. I'm an academic, always calling me crazy, always insulting my clan, always insulting me, and now insulting my space. And you start to feel like, you know, that same bite you get when you're hungry. But you manage to push that feeling down and compose yourself but you still feel that like blood kind of boiling inside you as you said about fixing your office all this rage cleaning (laughs) just channel it oh i did this in real life (laughs) (laughs) oh no (laughs) how i get through stuff Mm -hmm. you hear things kind of being slammed down into the trash can and also like Uh, the scrape of furniture being set in its correct position and all of this stuff uh, from the outside of the closed door, dog food. Okay. Uh, She, she's still angry. She started it. 
I want to say. Uh, she was extremely mean to me, and she was she was mean about my dog, and said that my dog doesn't love me. But is she still mad? You can't. I'm gonna knock on the door and go, Charlotte. Are you still mad? And I don't mean I mean angry. Because you know you're still mad. So you're very quiet. Uh, wow, vampires can hear that. <laughs> I was going to say, let's see, Charlotte, you have heightened senses, mm -hmm. so you definitely hear this <gasps> loud and clear through the door. Um, I'll let you take the cue on how you, on how you want to handle it. If you think that this is what maybe like, is this the, you want to, <sighs> I think Charlotte is going to just kind of like hear that and just take a deep breath and open the door and be like, why would I be mad? On account of, uh, I had full sexual relations on your desk. Oh, that's, uh, I wouldn't, why would I be mad about that? That's a completely I, respectable thing to do to someone. I'm so glad you agree. Uh, I was really, I was, I'm dog food takes this at faith, face value. Uh, I was worried you'd be angry, but now I see that you're not. So, uh, yeah, friends again. It's, uh, it's great. Best friends. Yes, best friends. No one has to worry Close about door. revenge. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to, just going to put that down and let that stuff explode it, later. <laughs> stuff it deep down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would like to try and heal my aggravated damage because I'm still a little bashed up. Okay. So I believe I roll three rouse checks. Yes. Potentially get very hungry here. I got two more hungry. So I'm now at hunger four. Okay. How hungry are you? Starting to feel else? angry. Yeah. Everyone else is, I think Elizabeth is at a three. Mm -hmm. um, well, I kicked the boxes of cups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ulrika and uh, Charlotte, I believe you you went on a little feeding mission right before uh, the end of last last session. So you're actually at hunger one. You're both pretty good. And if I remember correctly, um, you I think you saved a little bit for later, Charlotte. I think I awesome. did. Yes, I, I, I think I it was Elizabeth, and I thought it was Elizabeth and. Uh, that poor Charlotte person that went yeah, to, was, the axe to, the, to the Viking bar. Oh, Elizabeth, did you not eat when you went to the Viking bar? No, I don't think I did. Oh, oh, you sold the axe though. Yeah, I did steal yes, the axe. You, so the you axe. do yes. have an axe. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Didn't yeah I just can't remember how them. hungry no. I am. I think I'm I do. I do have my herd though, so I'll probably that's just true. go down and have like two blattes today. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna share. Yeah. No. It's gonna double double latte. <laughs> just straight just, just at the straight. same time. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's like gross. It's kind of yeah. it's kind um, of vampire-y. <laughs> as you get the the blatte, um, you notice that Loretta has put it in a beautiful cup. Um, it's bigger. She put it in an actual like ceramic cup instead of a paper one. Mm -hmm. And it's black on the outside. It has stars on the inside, and she's Ooh. created a rose for you. Oh, uh, that's out of really the, nice. Out of the blatte foam. That's that's lovely, Loretta. Uh, your your care is is noticed and appreciated. Well, I mean, you notice she blushes a little bit. I I <laughs> notice you like roses, so. Sure. <laughs> Anything for you. All right. Yes, Loretta. I don't have to get a new thrall. It's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> It's too much. It's getting to be too much work. Is it, is it getting to be too much thrall in your thrall? Too much thrall in my thrall. <laughs> yeah, we're having too much of a parasocial relationship here. I don't think it's yeah. working out. I'll just take that as a note in my brain. Just say thank you, Lord. That's lovely. Uh, please show this care <laughs> and concern to all of our customers here at the Court of Cups. They all deserve roses in their coffees. Oh, I definitely will. 
Can you do a dog? I would love a, like a little dog. Yes, yeah, give dog a, food a, a dog or, or something. And if, do you want a blatte? I think I have one left. I'm sorry, dog food, but I kind of reserve my more intricate latte art for those that I've been lifelong friends with. I'm sure you understand. I maybe yeah, can I, make you a leaf or something. Oh, a leaf would be. You know, a leaf wouldn't be bad. Can I? Can I? Elizabeth, can I have a blatte? Yes. I'm really, yes. I'm really fanging as a as the. You seem on, you on seem to be having a tussle with Charlotte, and I am just tired. I'm tired, tired of it. And actually, I just asked her if she was still angry, and she said, "What would I have to be angry about?" That sounds like a passive aggressive lie. <laughs> no, I think I think I I think she's not angry. I think that's the thing. Mm hmm. Uh. I don't know. Well, do people do that? Do people say they're not angry when they are angry? Is that a thing? No, dog yeah. food. No one would ever do that. Okay, well, good. Then we're fine. Me and Charlotte are square. <laughs> that was that. sarcasm. You hear Loretta say, right? It was. Yes, it was. Excellent. Yeah. Um, yes. Well, that's cruel. It is. No, it I, is. Think, I think she's fine. I'm just going to, she... you know, we're, we're square. She was mean to me. I defiled her office. That's where we're, we're square Wait, now. Do I know the dog food defiled her office? Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. Oh yes, yeah. I had already blocked that from my memory, but now I remember. <laughs> use, use the forgetful mind yeah. on yourself. I just tried. In the mirror, just like yeah. I didn't see anything. I didn't see, I didn't see anything. <laughs> just and now it's now mirror. it's viscerally come back. So thank you, dog food. I appreciate that. Please get yourself a blatte. I'm going to go sit in the corner of the quarter cups and just read. Uh, mm -hmm. Read. I don't know Frankenstein or something. Some romantic literature. <laughs> Uh, Loretta pushes your coffee at you, dog food, and um, guzzle it down. Notice you notice that uh, it's not, it's not beautiful. It's not in a special cup. It's in a paper cup. Mm. And in lieu of latte art, Loretta has simply taken like a, like almost like a stencil with a smiley face on it, dumped cinnamon on it, so the cinnamon is in a smiley face. <laughs> yeah. and it at you. A little cinnamon smile. I mean, sloshes, oh. it sloshes a little bit as she slides it over. Thanks, I mean, Loretta. I can tell there's some, some real love put into this. She turns around without responding to you. Oh my god. Maybe it is time to get a new thrall. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this I don't know if this thrall thing is I'm gonna just go and find He's, Elizabeth and say, I don't know if this thrall thing is ethical, you know? I know. I'm just I'm honestly thinking we might you know she's on she's on our last thread, so I'm thinking if if just play this one out run out the clock until yeah just run out the clock until you know we're really hungry and we just get really <laughs> tired and maybe you know just you know we just got a trained i know i know like that's the problem is the whole as, as, as business has been up we've been getting more customers because our coffee is so good I just, it's, you do it's, notice there's heavier foot traffic in the cafe now which we need so all I'm saying, I'm, we're just gonna, oh. we'll have to deal with it as long as we can. Where am I relative to this conversation? Um, we could say that you've, do you come to the front of the house often when you wake yeah. up? Yeah, like I, I usually come out of my uh, yeah. closet. I heard, saw the box fly out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you see, you see Loretta, like as you, as you walk into the, mm -hmm. into the main cafe, you see Loretta like kind of shove the the blatte at dog food and like i said the coffee slosh is a little bit a little bit trickles over the side mm -hmm. it looks like a very uh rosy latte very mm. foamy um and you see her turn around and go back to her work and that's this is where you're at when you come out and uh if i overheard their conversation yeah i say like well we did just have this remodel maybe that's why we have more business so if well, we found someone to be trained yeah well, or we get her to train someone and say that we just want her to have a few days off. Yeah. Yeah, she needs a she needs a few days off. Let's yeah. do that. And like would you say to her, have a few days off, try not yeah. to think about how much you love Elizabeth for those yeah. few days. <laughs> that would be nice, yes. Maybe otherwise, try and gain a sense of perspective. Otherwise we will have to have to eat you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll have to consume you. Yeah. That's Which we don't want to do because love, right? we just had her trained. And imagine how happy Charlotte would be with all those organs. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so you're There's... not saying this to her? No. No, <laughs> no this is what we're, we're, we're workshopping what okay. we're going to say. Yeah, yeah. we're workshopping <laughs> drinking the nice coffee she's just made in the corner yeah. of the coffee shop. We're all in the corner going, yeah. Yeah. Looking at her. Yes. Yeah. 
well, she's got surely got a performance review coming up where we can say, hey, a little less thrally, maybe. I don't think I don't think when someone's mind is broken, you can say a little less thrally. I think it's as thrally as it gets. Well, have we tried? Could you dominate her to not be as thrally? I could try that. Look into her eyes and be like, chill the fuck out. <laughs> I could, I could try that, but right now I'm just tired and I want to sip this coffee while I read this book. I'm in two minds because on the one hand, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hungry. But on the other hand, like when we were going to go and get that second inquisition lady. So should I like, you know, it's like I've got a big meal coming up ahead. I don't know if I want to have breakfast. Mm. Well, drink you your coffee. Do you think you can oh. contain yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. This took this this latte took the edge off. Okay, that's good. I don't want anyone to be out of control. Like, I don't want here. More or less, I don't want any strange passive aggressive sexual acts today. <laughs> I just can't hand it, handle it. Yeah, no, that'll be that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I I, I feel like uh, that that one's done now. <laughs> Charlotte good. and I are friends again. I said best friends, and she didn't disagree. Good. Did she that's, agree? I think. I don't know. I think she said sure, maybe. Or she sort of slammed the door. So I couldn't make out what she said. Um, I really think that's quick. an answer. Yeah, that was an answer. But dog food is missing the point. Uh, <laughs> is the latte good enough for me to, to not consider killing Loretta? <laughs> um, I think given that you're a Toreador. Mm-hmm. Looking at the mastery and the effort Ugh, and the no, yeah, yeah. you no, have a <laughs> innate appreciation for the artistry that she's put into it. All right, well, I can muse about it and it'll make me feel better. So, <laughs> but it feeling, is it is lovely. I'm feeling a lot better. Have you noticed that most of my burns are gone? They it's are. Good. It's good. Yeah, this this healing thing's not too bad. Uh, where's is has Bubba come back or is Bubba still gone? Actually, that's a good point. Can I go and check if anything like hey, Loretta? Did they? Is any is any messages come in about Bubba? Mm, not that I can tell. No. We asked Mari to look for Bubba, and she hasn't said anything. I'm going to send Mari a text. I'm yeah, we should say. probably check on that because Bubba is useful for keeping the riffraff out of the shop. This is true. Mm. Um, uh, I'm going to say to Mari. I'm just going to say any progress. Mm -hmm. uh, she texts you back and uh, says uh, I may have a lead can I help is what I'm going to text back mm -hmm. and uh, she texts back meet me question mark sure I'm going to send back at the shop uh, she texts back my neighborhood hmm. I have forgotten what Mari's neighborhood is She's in the U District area. In the U District? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to take this text. I'm going to call a, a quorum, and I'm going to yeah. say, do you think we might be being trapped again? I wouldn't not suspect that. You wouldn't count it out, right? right. Yeah. I, I think getting trapped is usually a, a, a thing to assume in yeah. our position. Yeah. It's safer to assume that we're going to be attacked. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's yes. So Mari, Mari says she has a lead on Baba and she wants to meet. Are you okay with, with coming with me in case it's, you know, a trap? Yes. I don't yes, want to be like fine. trapped on my own. That would no, be, no, that would be especially bad. since we like just pissed the second inquisition off like last night. You yeah. Know? That's, that's bad news. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to text Mari back, sure, somewhere nice in public. Mm. Uh, she messages back, sure. Okay. And she, you see a pin for a uh, bubble tea place in the U District. Okay. So, yeah, let's go get some bubble tea, and we can check out and see if we want to do bubble tea at our place. No, no we will. We do not. Oh, we don't? <laughs> no. no. What's wrong with bubbles? I would like a little it's bubble in my latte. No. No, this that is that's that's a drink for children. Don't you understand? It's 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 a fun drink, not a drink like we oh, serve here. Yeah, we don't do fun drinks. We do not do fun drinks. 
No, sorry, I I was imagining something. This isn't more. a Starbucks. When I heard bubble tea, I was imagining something more dour. It's not. Um, so, uh, uh, Charlotte, do you want to drive? You go in your car that I like. <laughs> Open the door. Like, okay, where are we going? We're going to a bubble tea place in the U district. To uh, we're going to see a, a lady about a dog. Apparently, they have a lead on where Bubba is. Sounds good. I actually kind of miss Bubba. Yeah, Bubba's a good girl. I miss it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. There's no crying in the coffee shop. That's all no, me. No crying in the coffee shop. Okay. <laughs> all stone face right. watching you. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> Just a little pause. Uh, you got a little Pardon. something like. No, I don't. Yeah, you kind of have a little. Yeah, no, you, can, you should probably get, You should probably do I've something. Got a, it's very smoky. It's smoky <laughs> out. Do you see okay. the air warnings? It's it's fucked. It's we crazy. don't breathe. <laughs> Left to get the car. Getting in my eyes. You <laughs> bring the beige Mercedes around the front. I uh, I get in the front seat so I can sit with Charlotte. Mm-hmm. God. <laughs> She obviously is not happy with this <laughs> and is just trying to push down all the frustrations. Is this, this tape player, is this new? Just get that added in. It's not tape going player? to engage. We could play like, uh, looks like you got a copy of the best of Queen here. We could play that. I just turned the radio up as loud as possible. <laughs> <laughs> got it listening to some some radio tunes yeah it, it's just a commercial listen to some commercials cool stuff if you ever thought about doing a commercial for your therapy thing i could i could voice over it i can't hear you over this i'm sorry oh. <laughs> just do, you to turn it, do, you, do you want me to turn it down so you can hear me better nope we're good this is i want to hit listen to this i like this commercial okay yeah Probably my favorite commercial. Thinking, probably thinking about my idea, running through script ideas. Like, what does she want to say? Hi, I'm Dr. Charlotte Lamb, and this is my therapy, or something like that. <laughs> oh my god! I just said, can I? Just, I'm just make. I'm just gonna make eyes at Ulrika. Like, I, I would just like to leave. <laughs> I just want to go do what we're I just, doing. Now. I just, yeah. This, this is awkward. I should have took my car. What the fuck am I doing in this thing? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> I just you better I just... be getting attacked is all I have to say because this is going to be a fucking waste of time. Yes, yeah, so I would like to attack someone. Me too. <laughs> Dog food. Baba is not a waste of time. Baba no, has we... saved all of your lives. No, I meant like you could have visited and done this yourself if there's yeah, no attack. Yeah, but if it's a trap, I'd get killed. Well, I mean, no comment. <laughs> And then you wouldn't get Bubba back. I mean, I could, we don't want it to be a trap. It's fine. We don't want it to be a trap. I mean, I'm just saying I hope it is so I could attack kind of, somebody and take all this anger out. Kind of sounds like you do want it to be a trap. The way you just I said, do. I hope it is a trap. <laughs> I hope it's a trap so we could kill people. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty hungry. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll get a nice barista there or something. They have baristas at Bubble Tea, right? Or do you call oh. them something different? They, I no, they're admit, just... I, I don't really know what bubble tea is. They're they're not. I mean, they're not baristas. They just they just make candy. They are bu- bubble tea makers. <laughs> it's just candy. Well, they are bubble blowers. I don't know what the hell they're called. <laughs> Children. No, I think that, I'm pretty sure that's right. Candy yeah. drinks. As you say the words "candy drinks," you see the sign of the business pull up in front of you, and you find it uh, well. It's not really your aesthetic, Elizabeth. No. Uh, there is a happy panda face <laughs> on the outside, mm. sitting in a, in a coffee cup, uh, smiling. And um, it says, happy panda, bubble tea. And the, c- the color palette is very pastel. Mm-hmm. Everything is like purple and yellow. And, uh, and by that, I mean pastel purple and pastel yellow. And the people inside are dressed in panda headbands oh and aprons. <laughs> and you see Mari's telltale, like, you know, purple hair from outside the shop. 
So bear with me a second. This whole panda aesthetic with the headbands and the the panda in the in the coffee mug, but with Bubba. I'm thinking branding. I'm just not going to dig. I'm going to go and talk to Mari. <laughs> just think about what I said. I'm, you know, I'm feeling very energetic today. I've got a lot of ideas. I'm buzzing. I'll and try and make it. And I'll go. try and make it not look weird that a like this ragtag group of people walked into this bubble tea place. <laughs> and I'm just going to go up and order a black coffee just to be contrary. <laughs> mm-hmm. So as you go up and order a black coffee, the person says, yes, of course. Uh, would you like milk in that? No. Uh, what type of toppings would you like? None. What sugar level would you like? We vary None. from 10%. Would you like it iced? We also offer nitrous poured coffee. Oh, what's nitrous poured coffee? That sounds... Right? Well, we inject nitrogen oxide into the coffee to make it frothy and foamy. Fine, I want that. Okay, perfect. Would you like any other toppings? We can add sprinkles, ice cream, mango jelly. No, I want none of that. Okay, what I'm size would you over. like? Would you like a little dragon or a Godzilla? I'm just doing this now. I want, I would like a little dragon, please. Elizabeth, awesome. I lived through you in, with this food stuff. Like, I would really appreciate it if you would, <laughs> like... I think we would all like it if you got something good, you know? A lo- like a Maybe God it dinner. is good to Elizabeth. Black coffee is lovely. All right. Well, we have coffee at home, so it's a bit of a waste of money. Wow. Are you doing the we have food at home to me? Are you saying we don't have coffee at home? Am I wrong? I'm trying to, I'm trying to support another local business that isn't Starbucks. All right. Yeah, I'll get... I'll get uh, Give me every. I, I'm gonna. She's paying. Give me every. <laughs> give me everything you got. Just the business. I uh, want a Godzilla. I, I want. Okay, a Godzilla. Well, our most popular flavor is winter melon. Would you like to try that one? I would love winter melon. All that right. So let's get one Godzilla winter melon. Do you need any recommendations on toppings to go with it? You know what? Uh, like dealer's thought, choice. Like... Just whatever awesome. you would recommend. Yeah, I'll give you my favorite combination. All right. She like disappears into the back. You see her like pour. Um, this is difficult for you, Elizabeth. You see her pour the pre-made no. uh, tea and coffee concoctions out of jugs in the fridge, add ice to them, add a little bit of like nitrogen foam for the cold brew coffee to give it a nice thick head. And then you see her do something that probably, debating if I should have you roll for frenzy on this. <laughs> vacuum seal the cups oh yeah no <laughs> can you do that with a yeah that's what they do that's, that's, no the each one that's no, what happens like at a, bubble tea a little like Basically. panda on it no yeah it has a, it has a giant panda on it and that's it's like, like the cup has it as well yeah and it says like kawaii or something on it <laughs> i'm is writing there, is I, the panda I mouth just writing you stuff down the straw? Straw? yes yes the panda mouth is 100 percent where you stab the straw and the straws are like big and purple Oh my god! I'm like, I'm like, my eyes like twitching. Like, mm-hmm. she brings you both of the coffees, and she's like, "Here you go." I also started you a punch card. It Thanks. has like a little girl in a panda costume, like hitting you with one of these, and it has like she puts, she takes two punches out of it and hands it to you. See, Thank would you. you like a snack? We also have bubble no. waffles. They come with no. Nutella, chocolate, and strawberry. No, I'm we're we're excellent. Thank you, my awesome. my niece here, my niece here, uh, just needs a. A fun treat. Perfect. That'll be fifteen dollars. Right, I give I give them the fifteen dollars from my brazier. <laughs> takes it. Enjoy. You can take a seat wherever you like. You know, Thank like, you so much. Seated places. Thank mm. you. I that sit down with when you notice how large dog food's bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's huge. It has a big chibi Godzilla on it. Oh my god. Oh, and awesome. uh, it's breathing fire onto like a uh, what looks like a brown sugar cube that's being melted into like, you know, <laughs> a bubble tea. And that is that is the view you're met with. When you when you look uh, at the bottom, you notice there's like thick star cut lychee jellies at the bottom. Yeah. And, uh, covered in like a nice winter melon. Yeah. I mean it smells delicious to you, Elizabeth, but to dog food, this smells like a burning band-aid. Oh, yeah. 
I will I, try. I will try dog foods if I will try it. Yeah, go for it. I think I overordered, so there's going to be plenty for you. <laughs> and how is it? Is it fine? Yeah, it's really. It's more sugary than you would like it to be. Um, I like it. The coffee is a little bit more your speed, but even yeah. then, uh, you think uh, it's probably a little bit it's m- fine. more sweet than it needs to be. Yeah. I don't have strong feelings about this, but I'm not going to burn the place down. So I guess it's a win-win for everyone. I have strong feelings about this. I think we should adopt this entire aesthetic. <laughs> no. But Baba instead of pandas. Is Ulrika okay? <laughs> I check on them after all this. <laughs> I look over to see. There is a dark not a shadow <laughs> in the corner where Ulrika sits. There's a what? Dark shadow. A dark oh, shadow in the corner. Just sitting angry. I'm just daunting in the corner. <laughs> mm-hmm. It just turned. It just turned on as soon as I walked in. Without, yeah. Oh. You didn't even realize. It's like an realize. ominous dark corner where the fluorescent lights somehow magically don't touch, and that is where you see Ulrika. All right mean mugging you from across the the cafe well let's get this over with dog food i don't think any of us can stay in here longer than we need to so i'm i'm gonna head over to mari i'm gonna say hi mari how you doing good how are you you notice she's like mostly healed but still looks a little rough around the edges yeah i'm 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 pretty good you know doing uh doing better than i deserve probably Mm. how's uh how's how's bubba well, I looked around, asked around, and uh, I've heard tell of Bubba. There was a couple of college students who were keeping her in their backyard for a while because uh, they thought she was a stray. But when I got in contact with them because they posted on Craigslist to see if, who the dog belonged to, um, they said like a couple days later when I contacted them, they said that the dog had gotten out. I went and investigated the backyard and yeah, it looks like Bubba broke her way out in the night. Um, yeah, she'll do that. Yeah, apparently doesn't really like being enclosed. And nope. since then I've tried to be hot on her tail as best I can. Um, I tracked her movements for a while and then um, had difficulty sort of keeping up. I followed her trail down into Ravenna, the Ravenna Park. You know from your recollection of the area dog food, since you're a little bit more traveled than um, the, other, the other kindred in the coterie, that uh, Ravenna is a park that runs at the north end of the U District, um, named after a ravine that actually uh, kind of separates it from the Northgate neighborhood. Uh, it's an area frequented by joggers. There's a creek that flows through it, um, and there's two entrances to it. A lot of people from the university kind of go jogging there, and it's frequented by locals. On one end, it has a very cute little park before the trailhead starts. And then on the other end, on the extreme end, it has like a small field where people can play soccer or baseball. It's about three miles long. Makes sense she'd be there. She, She loves joggers, bless them. She loves the noise they make. Let's yeah. uh, unfortunately the area is heavily wooded and I just I couldn't get a beat on her. I'm sorry. Well, you know, maybe uh, maybe I'll have better luck because I can uh be a dog. Probably around, you know, follow a trail a little bit, which has always gone really well for me. I'm great at that. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, I, I really appreciate it, Mari. I owe you one. Yeah. Sorry I couldn't meet you in your neighborhood. I've been kind of keeping close to home after everything happened. Yeah, I'm still no, afraid the, you know who is watching me. That uh, is more than possible. We're actually... Uh, did you uh, want to maybe join us on a... Uh, we're going to see some of you know who. And, you know, maybe... <clears throat> Why are you doing that in a busy cafe? Um, well, I, I don't know. I'm more into the investigative side, side of things. I feel like that's probably more in Nell's bag. And okay. honestly, I'm still not 100%. I'm still tender from the barrel you set off. Oh, yeah. No, uh, me too. Believe me. I just don't know if I'm up for it, if I'm being honest. I well, don't just, like I w- fire. I, I really be- don't like fire. You know, I, I feel like it would have been rude not to invite you. 
Uh, but uh, no, thank you very much. This has been very useful. To a, a hunter's den? Yeah. You know, there's going to be food. I feel like there's easier ways to get food, but you do you. I wish you all yeah, the best we, of luck. We just have different, different tastes, I guess. Different hobbies. I will... <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks a lot for this. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and send me a text if you need me. Yeah, good luck. And she like um, leaves like her file with you. Mm -hmm. And it's just like some photographs she took of the broken fence. And um, she had this like open and was kind of like showing you the, uh, the trail that she followed, um, leading her to this information. She leaves that file with you, slides it over to you, okay. and leaves. That was... Uh... That was very productive. So I'm going to get that file. I'm going to walk over and go, we have a location on Baba. So do you want to do that? That's good. Did I hear that you mentioned what we were doing? Oh, Damari. She's cool. How do you know? What? Is she? All right, maybe we should do the hunter thing first. In case Mari's compromised. I was being polite. You're always telling me to be more polite. I guess now I'll be less polite. You can be polite without telling people what the fuck we're doing. Yeah, right. over oversharing can be a problem. All right. Well, what there's if, a lot. What if she's of... sending us to look for Bubba as a trap? It's a three mile long parkland. How are they going to trap us through all of that? Like, well, she didn't give us did a one good job specific gas location. Station. Yeah, but that was a gas station. Like, I'm there's a saying. really limited amount of ambush spots, spots at a gas station. I'm just saying. This is a huge park. How are they going to ambush us in a huge park? I'm just saying. All right. I think we should go and get Bubba first because it's been a few nights. Well, we need, we need Bubba's help if we're going yeah. to be taking on yeah. anyone serious. So, yes, let's go get Bubba first. She's going to need her blood soon. She's old. <laughs> How old is Bubba? Uh, Bubba's, like, I think in her mid-20s. Mm -hmm. so she she needs to come home mm -hmm. uh, do you feed she, her blood yeah i feed her my blood oh, uh, oh. she needs that she needs my blood about once a month or uh her age will start to catch up with her oh and you know big dogs they get hip dysplasia <laughs> all kinds of all kinds of maladies that uh Old my precious problems. vitae have been warding off so uh, what i'm saying is please help me find my dog Okay, we'll go. Of course, and, we're going to help. Okay, so or I'm going to do that. Do yes, we're happy to help. Or do you want to do yeah. the hunter first? We're going to find Baba first because we need okay. help if we're going to fight anyone. So we're going to the, we're going to the, what was it called? The Ravenna Park? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ravenna Park. Ravenna, yeah, Ravenna Park. Park. We're going to Ravenna Park. You guys can drive around. I will run around. If, you know, worst comes to worst, I will use some of my mystical powers of dog summoning, which are very cool. I feel uh, like we could also just listen for, for any sort of sounds that aren't yeah, just the I normal would... rats in the park. Does, yeah. uh, I feel does like, Bubba uh, have a favorite food? Um, joggers she really likes. <laughs> okay. well, I'm sure she's been eating well then. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, she just, you know, she likes to help them out. You know, you see a jogger, they're running. And they're like, not going to maybe make their best time today. And then they see Baba and then they're going to make their best time. Oh, yeah, that helps. Uh -huh. That's helps. She's she a helps motivator. Out. Yeah. She's a motivator. Yeah. Should we pick up Baba's favorite snacks at all? I've got a ton of uh, like dog food and biscuits and stuff in my backpack. We should be fine. Making sure. Okay. <sighs> all right. Let's go and get my. <clears throat> let's get my. Let's, <clears throat> let's go and get my dog. <laughs> You okay there? Yeah, no, I got my shit together. Didn't you hear the assertive way that I said that? Yes, after you very started assertive. three times. No, I was uh, clearing my throat. The oh, smoke. okay. The smoke. Okay. It's, it's the smoke. Let's go. Let's go to Ravenna Park. You get into the car and drive just uh, probably 20 blocks north uh, to the very north end of uh, the university district where it kind of becomes the Roosevelt neighborhood. Oh. Um, you pull in here and uh, you find like a, a large park described much the way uh, Mari had described it to you. There's an area like a sandbox and swings for children to play in. There's a couple of volleyball nets. 
Um, and there's a large board and sign that gives the hours that the park is open that you're allowed to be in there. Uh, and you also see there is a arrow kind of marking where the trailhead begins. Um, it is a three mile long loop. Uh, there's two ways to go around it. So usually joggers go all the way around. And you notice that where the trailhead, like where the arrow is on the, on the sort of map and where the trailhead starts is a heavily wooded area. Um, so you would have to park your car and then walk to it. I feel like she's going to be in the woods if she's going to be anywhere. She's going to be in that heavily wooded area. So I'm going to get out. Uh, I'm going to be a dog. Okay. So I can cover more ground. You guys can, you know, do the, 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 stu- the like less supernatural dog finding stuff. Like walk around, say, Baba. Uh, you can keep my backpack. That's got all kinds of treats and stuff in it. Um, if you hear a jogger screaming, she'll, that'll be her. Uh, well, we're going uh, to stick it, together. I don't think we should. I mean, no. you're welcome yeah. to just stay within yelping distance. I'll stay within yelping distance. I'm going to be kind of, uh, shouting a lot in dog. Yes. Do uh, that. So, uh, you guys won't understand it, but it'll be normal stuff. I'm shouting. I'll just be shouting Baba. It's fine. Uh, okay, dog time. And okay. I turn into a dog. Okay. And hopefully I don't beef my rouse. I beefed my rouse check. <laughs> so I'm now at four hunger again. Uh, oh, nice. uh, and uh, I, I run off into the woods and I start howling. And what I'm howling is, Baba, I love you. Come back to me, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm nothing without you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does anyone remember why Bubba was mad? I don't even remember. The uh, dog food yelled at her to go away yeah. for her own safety. And called her a bad dog. <laughs> because she wouldn't yeah. leave. It was oh, that that's whole right. trope. I don't understand mm-hmm. dogs. I, I prefer cats. I'm glad that, glad that dog food didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's almost like... It was very, uh, it was very cinematic. Essentially... Mm-hmm. Um, and by cinematic, I mean it's been done to death in lots of movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bubba being trained to stay by dog food for ever yeah. uh, did not understand the concept of running yes. when dog food was in danger. And dog food, I believe, got a bestial crit. Yes. Mm-hmm. On yeah. convincing her to leave. That's and right. So yeah. it yeah. scared her, essentially. Yeah. Uh, she was terrified and fled um, yeah. because of that bestial crit. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. So you enter the park. It is very dark. There is not a lot of foot traffic here, and your yowling uh, doesn't uh, seem to uh, disturb anyone nearby. It's uh, a little past 9.30 p.m. at night, so you don't have your usual joggers in the park. Um, where do the other three of you go? Um, so, I feel- yeah, do you I- split up? and no. go down both uh loops or because there's like there's like an entrance and then it branches off into these two loops that go under the bridge um do you stay all together yes do you go behind dog food yeah we'll just yeah. follow we'll follow dog food and then and just follow dog food along the the loop i think okay perfect in dog food you're yelping and yelling trying to find uh bubba mm-hmm Okay, go ahead and roll your, let's see. I'm just like, here, doggy. Roll Come here. your charisma as well as your animal ken. Yeah, animal ken. Love rolling animal ken. So Proper. that's two plus four. Do I get my canine's bonus? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so I got... Oh Jesus! No, oh. what happened? Now? I got a hungry crit. God damn! No! Oh, God. Ah. Five, six successes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh gosh, you've been getting the hungry crits on the strangest, the strangest <laughs> things. So, in Vampire the Masquerade, when you get a just, for, I guess, more so for the audience than for the players at the table, um, when you get a bestial crit, that means the beast got the crit as opposed to you, the player. At least that's my interpretation mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so as you're like in this kind of, this dog-like state, dog food, 
once again, that same nagging feeling that you've been feeling ever so recently starts to kind of boil up inside you again. You feel like this is, this feels right to you as you're like kind of howling and yowling into the night, uh, trying to find Bubba again. Um, it occurs to you that you wouldn't be in this situation if you had been a dog in the first place. And it occurs to you that it's easier for you to communicate in this form than it has ever been for you to communicate with, with Charlotte in your human form. This makes more sense to you. This is logic that checks with you. The animal kingdom is so less complicated and so much more uh, comforting to you than the trappings of being a human. Uh, roll a humanity check for me. So is that my unmarked humanity? Yes. Okay. I got two successes. Okay. So because, and I hope I'm not being too harsh here, because this has happened to you three times now, go ahead and mark two superficial two stains. Two oh. stains. oh, Okay. Yeah, that will resolve at the end of the session because okay. uh, this happened with your uh, current boyfriend. I don't know if I'm putting too serious of a label on it in the movie theater. This yeah. happened while you were hiding out, uh, spying on the better humans of, of the University of Washington Club. This has happened to you several times just within yeah. the past 48 hours. Um, so at this point, like... It's, it's, you're starting to question that, that humanity more and more and more and more. Okay. Unfortunately for dog food, uh, they just don't have a lot of humanity left. Yeah. It's getting dicey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you feel like maybe your long storied history is, is starting to catch up with you. Mm -hmm. Um, and that part of you that bonds with animals is becoming louder and louder and louder. And especially with uh, the conflict you've had with Ulrika recently, the conflict you've had with uh, the good Dr. Charlotte recently, um, the conflict you've had even, you know, reflecting back on that memory you had at the university, reflecting back on your failures in love with your favorite veterinarian. Um, you're starting to wonder if you understand dogs better than you understand humans. And this is kind of what races through your mind as you go yelping and howling and running through the night. You feel free. You feel emboldened. You feel like this is your natural element and it works. You see Bubba kind of slowly creep out of the woods, out of the edge of one of the creeks. She doesn't look great. Mm -hmm. um, she's dirty, dirtier than usual. She's matted. She looks a little hungry, but the first thing that hits you is there's a lot of gray fur around her snout and her nose and her mouth, but she is, for the most part, okay. So I'm going to run up to Bubba and start cleaning her mm -hmm. and probably crying at the same time. Like when, if you, I don't know if you ever seen a dog, when they see another dog that they, that they like, they just, and they can't control it, mm -hmm. just starts, dog food just starts crying and jumping back and forth. Um, and then is trying to trying to kind of lick her clean. Yeah, um, Bubba is very uh, receptive, like a little bit, like I said, a gun shy, a little bit cautious, um, but also kind of licks your face back. Mm. And the three so of you, this is the sight you come upon. Oh, look! Then Bubba's back. Excellent. See, Are Bubba, they... everyone came back for you. I'm going to say in dog. Mm -hmm. Are they happy? Is that a happy dog thing? I think so. Looks yeah, like they're happy. They look happy. Their tails are wagging. There's no teeth showing. They're licking each other. They're licking All right, each other. good. Okay, time time to go. We have dumb humans to kill. I'm gonna hey. turn back into a turn back into a vampire, and mm. I'm just gonna I'm gonna bite my my wrist, um, and give a little bit of blood to Baba. It doesn't take very much. It just takes a few drops. Okay. Um, uh to uh just to, to keep her going yeah her over. uh she looks a little uncomfortable when you turn back into a human um the memory of uh that like beast like face you made at her and 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 driving her away kind of flashes for just a moment but the familiar smell of your vitae as it like hits her nostrils um 
that is more compelling to her than the urge to run. Uh, you all see this like very almost horrifying image of dog food opening up their own vein and feeding their Vitae to Bubba. It's uh, uh, mildly disturbing and strange. Um, the, no the smell hits your nostrils of like that good elder Vitae, or not elder Vitae, but kindred Vitae. And um, you see Bubba like kind of uh, take a few drops and then um, that'll be where we take our first break. Okay. 